What is up guys? I'm back yet again and man I've got a couple things that I need to share with you guys. Um, first off, I recently joined the Yoush community and if you don't know what that is, it's a uh, community that Yoush, the um, YouTube network, um, has set up and basically it's a bunch of other uh, you know small YouTubers and some partnered ones and you know you you go and discuss things you know anything from sports uh, to you know YouTube to tips and tricks to um, you know you can you can put your channel up for review you can sign up for the Yoush uh, uh, recruits you know partnering program Basically, it's just a big forum board where you can go hang out with a bunch of other uh, YouTubers. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. I, I learned a few things and, um, you know, gained a, gained a few ideas that I can implement now. And basically, um, the first announcement I've got is that I'm going to be branching off into um, doing Let's Plays. And... I don't have a huge gaming rig or anything. In fact, what I have to work with right now is a laptop. So uh, you'll never see me, you know, maxing out uh, new games or anything like that. In fact, some of the games that are coming out, I may not even be able to, you know, run at all. But uh, you know, I can, you know, definitely run some of the newer games. Uh, you know, if I tone down the settings a little bit. Uh, so I'll be doing let's plays and. I think I'll be starting with uh, the first Bioshock because, as you all know, Bioshock uh, Infinite is coming out soon, and I think I'm gonna start playing the first one and then maybe move on to the second one from there. But uh, yeah, Bioshock is gonna be my first Let's Play. Hopefully, you know, it's not uh, too creepy or anything because I don't know what to expect from it. I haven't even, you know, done any research on it at all. All I know is uh, the cover looks a little creepy. That's all. Seriously, that's all. Anyway. As for my third order of business, guys, and today's commentary topic, I want to talk about the Piston Steambox console that the uh, XI3 Corporation has uh, now has up for pre-order. And I'm sure you've heard of it, you know, in some way or, uh, or another, um, that Valve was uh, developing their own um, console and that it was going to be based on, you know, PC architecture, basically. But... They actually haven't really confirmed, you know, if they really are making a, a, a console, you know, of their own. Uh, what they did confirm was that they were supporting um, other companies and that those companies were developing their own, um, you know, prototypes. And one of these uh, companies was XI3, and they actually showed it at, um, I don't remember what trade show it was. It could have been um, CES or something. I don't, I don't quite remember where it was. But uh, they came out with this piston console, and it's now up for pre-order. Basically, uh, it's $899.99, and what you get is, uh, and this is the standard uh, primary build and uh, what you get is you get 128 gigabyte uh, SSD drive uh, for storage you get 8 gigs of RAM and you get what I presume is a AMD 3.2 gigahertz quad core processor and me personally I wouldn't buy this because I don't know if I can ever go back to an AMD processor after having switched over to an i7. Um, and I don't even have, you know, a high-end i7. Uh, I, like I said before, I'm actually on a laptop. So, you know, it's not like I would, you know, totally school a uh, desktop AMD processor. But, you know, I just, I don't know if I can ever go back to it. Because the difference between a mobile um, Intel processor and a mobile AMD processor is pretty huge. I mean, when I made the switch, I was on a uh, actually I was on an AMD Phenom uh, quad core, and now I'm on an i7, um, you know, which is essentially uh, an octa core. When you know, if you you know, think about it a little bit, but uh, basically. It's not that it's expensive, you know, eight ninety nine ninety nine. I think that's reasonable. Um, it's not, you know, it's not going to break the bank. But I also don't think that it's, you know, 
it's not a fair deal in a sense that you're getting something that's going to be able to max out you know every you know new game that comes out and keep in mind that you're dealing with PC games which are you know way more graphic intensive than your you know standard console game so i'm sure that they're targeting the people that just want to play PC games you know people that are satisfied with just playing the games not people who are visual diehards that want to you know max out ultra settings everything you know and i understand that point of view but you know i've never been one of those people you know mainly because i've never had what you'd call a gaming rig um but anyway guys if you want to weigh in on this new piston console uh please do so in the comments section other than that if you enjoyed any of this please leave a like if you have any questions on what i'm gonna do with the channel or anything else Again, do so in the comments section. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm excited for what I have in store. But uh, anyway, that's my time. If you enjoyed any of this, like I said, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. Peace. I'm out.